the edit toolbar is right here. So let me record something. And so you hear my voice and I'm recording it and I'm going to stop. Now here it's grayed out, but once I highlight something, I can take something and cut it. So cut takes it and cuts it out and sticks it in the memory. And when I go to here, I can paste and I'll paste it in just like a word processor. Just if I took a paragraph and highlighted a paragraph and had a shorter sentence and I paste it in, it'd remove that paragraph and paste in that shorter sentence. So if I paste that in, you'll see it gets smaller. You can copy by going from here to here. I copied it. I'm going to go to here and I'm going to paste it. The auto trim, really don't practically use this, but I guess the people of Audacity thought it was important. So everything before this and after it will go silent, and this will remain. Control Z to bring it back, and this does the opposite. It will silence it. So when I go to here, it silences it. It doesn't change anything. If I cut that, it will actually take it out, or if I hit the delete. Here is the undo button. Here is the redo button. But I like using the shortcuts of Control Z for undo. And control Y to redo. To cut, I use control X. Think of scissors. Scissors look like X when they're open. Copy, control C, just like in a word processor. Paste is control V. I think of an arrow pointing down. Um, I don't use this, so I don't have it memorized. Um, control L for silence. Here's another way to zoom in. It will zoom in on the selected area, so it will zoom in on this area right here. So it's zooming in on this, where the selection or where your cursor is. Move it back out. So if I move down to here, it will zoom in on that section right there. Right here, it will fit the project. So whatever the farthest length of the project is, it will bring it in, and that's Control F to do that. To do the zoom, I typically hold the control button and mouse, use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out on that. Now this feature right here is the sync lock. So where I practically use this is when I use labels. So if I put it over here, control B will make a label track. If I take something up here and I delete it, the label didn't move. Control Z to put it back. But if I sync lock it, and you can do this to say that you have a drum kit or something like that that you want to sync all together when you move something, if you delete it out a beat or something like that, you don't want all your tracks to be off. So when I do this now, when I delete, everything's going to stay sync. It's going to move over. I had my label there, so it made it disappear. So let me go over a little bit farther. When I delete it, it goes control Z but if I take something and say I go down here and I copy something and I go to here and I paste it everything moves and this shows where the editing is going to happen or the synchronization will happen so you can do lots of things and it keeps these tracks in line so for me I use it practically for labels but for music, this is a very helpful tool to make sure nothing is out of whack.